Hey everybody, Jeff here again from SW Customs going to finish the terrain this weekend. This is its third weekend in the driveway. This repair was done last weekend. Um, get ready to uh, wet sand it down with some 400. Um, I don't really want to paint this entire sail panel and then up along the uh, the roof line. Um, there's a nice, uh, nice bit of a contour here like kind of likes on the other fenders but I want to try to use this and and back mask it around this perimeter right here and down and hopefully um, you know the worst thing I gotta do is is re-clear the panel but I'm kinda hoping to stay inside that line with the, the finalization of this repair okay I got it all uh, wet sanded down with 400 I uh, haven't left myself a whole lot of room to get up into here, so this top section here going to be 1,000 grit. Okay, I did put the red glaze on here and knocked it down. Had to touch that spot back up again. Got all this wet sanded with, uh, with 400 down through the, through the gas door. Um, this top section I'm going to uh, wet sand with 1,000 grit. Uh, just for something for the, for the clear to stick to. Hoping that I can just paint up into, like I said, up into here, clear up into this edge. Okay, I got sanding all done, uh, ready to tape this in. Um, I'm doing a folded over edge uh, tape line uh, around where uh, the scuff marks stop along the edge here. And uh, so I'm going to do a fine line, piece of fine line tape. Um, followed by a strip of regular tape around that but over top of on the inside a piece of folded over uh, tape to make a, a false edge around around this line so the clear's got somewhere to go then peel that off spray a little bit of thinners around hopefully get that uh, get that edge to bite in okay here's what I got I got the fine line then I got a piece of tape above and now I'm going to put a piece of tape to join the fine line to the piece of tape above. And then over top of that will be the folded over false edge mask around the edge where the clear is going to go. Okay, I got the uh, repair area all prepped, covered in. I'm just going to hit this spot here and over here with a little uh, aerosol primer. Let it dry up and give it a little scuff with some uh, uh, 600 dry and then I'm gonna pull the pull the gun out and uh, get ready to paint All right uh, looks like things are ready to go um, I'm going to uh, wipe this down with the uh, attack cloth and some air and I've got some paint in the uh, spray it SP 33,000. I'm also going to use uh, not the same gun, but another spray it SP 33,000 for the clear because this is such a uh, small job. There's a uh, you know there's no real need to pull out a big gun for a small job, and that's what the little spray it's are made for. Okay, this is the uh, hazard of painting outdoors. Uh, I had a bug land here. I flicked them out with my finger, but uh, quite good enough. So I took a piece of tape and folded it over sticky side out and I plucked him out. Now I'm just going to wait for that to, uh, to dry down a little more. And I'm going to touch it with a little piece of uh, 600, just right where the bug landed. And then I'll give that another puff of uh, base coat and it'll be ready to go okay looks good and dry looks good and covered I gave it a quick tack off uh, I got uh, some clear mixed up in my other spray gun 
and we'll shoot it on. Hope for the best. Okay, it looks like the uh, spray it has uh, pumped out a, a pretty nice job here. Um, this is just off the gun, just finished. I'm going to give that a, a few minutes to uh, start to flow in. I don't think it's going to need a third coat. Looks pretty good. Um, then I'm going to peel back the uh, peel back this tape and the fine line and the layer underneath. And then blow that in with a little bit of a base coat reducer, and it should uh, should be good to go. Okay, I got all the layers of uh, tape all peeled back here. Um, looks like a pretty did a pretty good transition. There's a little bit of a line there. I'm not sure if I really want to uh, spray any. Uh, reducer on that or not. It's hard to say. It's flowing out real nice. Okay, uh, this is only like the uh, second or third time I've tried doing a clear blend like this. Um, it flew up into that, uh, that edge right there real nice. I ended up, I did uh, just put a little reducer in a little touch-up gun, turned down really low, just blew it in along the edge help burn the clear in. Um, I do have a little bit of a line here over here on this edge. It doesn't really stand out too too much. Uh, should be good but the nice thing is it fades up uh, into the body line. Um, I think she's going to be pretty happy with this. Maybe could have got the clear a little thicker right here at the bottom but uh, yeah looks pretty good to me. I think she's going to be happy. Uh, at least I didn't have to uh, I didn't have to clear the whole sail panel. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe.